All right, let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Beyond this morning, where the tensions continue to grip Sri Lanka 45 days after the serial bombings that rocked the country on Easter Sunday. Now, in the latest development, about eight Muslim government officials of Sri Lanka have quit from their portfolios. This includes three ministers and five junior ministers. They said that their move was in solidarity with the country's industry minister, who is one of the accused for supporting the Islamist militants. As members of the uh, Muslim community represented in the government, holding variety of positions as cabinet ministers, um, state ministers and deputy ministers, have taken a decision today to resign from all the positions and request the government to uh, expedite uh, any inquiry against anyone uh, among us and bring it to a conclusion without delay. We expect that to happen within a month so that we will be vindicated from these uh, allegations. All right, interestingly, the three ministers and the five junior ministers have only resigned from their portfolios and not from the government or their parties. So there is no immediate risk to the Prime Minister Ranul Vikramasinghe's parliamentary coalition. Now, the word in Lanka's power corridors is all that these ministers succumb to pressure from hardline Buddhist monks. Now, the resignations, in fact, come a day after the Lankan firebrand monk, Galagora Athanan Saratero, had led a demonstration in Kandy to pile pressure on Muslim politicians to resign. Now, some Lankan monks have even set a deadline for the government to fire Muslim provincial governors and a minister. Now, another Buddhist monk, Aturaya Lie Ratanathiro, had begun a fast unto death last weekend, demanding the sacking of two Muslim governors and also a Muslim cabinet minister. Now, the monk claimed that the two of the governors are linked to the Easter bombings. Now, all the ministers who have now quit will continue to be a part of their political parties and also of the legislature. And this means that there is, of course, no immediate threat to the coalition of Prime Minister Ronald Vikramasinghe. Now, the ministers, however, have accused the government of failing to guarantee the security of Lankan Muslims. We are proud and happy to be serving as backbenchers and assisting this government to survive. But their survival uh, will depend uh, on uh, their uh, conduct in continuing to investigate this thoroughly and properly and do justice to everyone equally. And also in the last one month, Sri Lanka has witnessed unprecedented communal violence. Muslims have been repeatedly targeted and even blamed for the Easter bombings. The serial explosions that rocked the island nation of, on the 21st of April earlier this year had claimed 253 lives.